The following is a Shaw TV special presentation. Welcome to the 2018 Saskatoon X Parade on Shaw TV. I'm Daniela Ponticelli. And I am Hank, and we are both very excited to be here. How many uh, X Parades have you been to? Oh, I've been to at least, you know, a dozen or so over my short lifespan. What about you, old guy? I have been to every exhibition parade since 1990. Since 1990, when I moved to Saskatoon, it gets bigger and better every year. I know, it's really exciting. And this year, there's going to be 90 floats, 90 entries in the parade, and can you believe it, many of them are returning, but we still see new faces every year. I'm looking forward to it. What, uh, what is your favorite uh, float from the past? What do you enjoy? What do you enjoy seeing? I really enjoy seeing the entry by the Dakota Whitecap First Nation. It's beautiful, it's large, it's so colorful and vibrant, and I was chatting with them earlier. It's really a chance for the entire community to come out and be part of the day. I enjoy the uh, the pipes, of course, with my Scottish heritage. I've been hearing them warm up here. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to it. So stick around, stay tuned. We have more coming up from the Saskatoon X Parade. Hello everyone and welcome to the 2018 Saskatoon X Parade. I am here right now with Daniela. It's me, Hank. We are watching as the police lead car is going by, the Saskatoon Police Service making sure things stay on track. And right now we get to see them before they get too hot and worn out in this heat. I like being here at the start of the parade. And next up, we have the Boys and Girls Club of Saskatoon. The Boys and Girls Club of Saskatoon is a nonprofit organization dedicated to serving children and youth for over 40 years in Saskatoon and area. The kids involved in our parade today are from their summer day camps. Boys and Girls Clubs of Saskatoon ensure kids have a good and safe place to be. They are also part of the cleanup crew during the six days of the Saskatoon X, keeping the park clean. Oh my goodness, and all that fun and activity you just saw float by, well that's the Mardi Gras float, decorated and owned by the Saskatoon Prairie Land, or rather by Saskatoon Prairie Land Park, and it'll be parading through the X each night at six o'clock. <gasps> And the Saskatoon X promo vehicle. It is provided by Enns Toyota here in Saskatoon for this summer. Driving the vehicles, Gerald Ball, employee of Prairie Land Park. Check out the Saskatoon X starting today until Sunday. And coming up, we see this stagecoach was built by volunteers of the Saskatoon Pleasure Driving Association. It has traveled to parades all over Saskatchewan, and it's being pulled by six Clydesdales. It is driven by museum volunteer Tim Edwards, and riding alongside Tim is Prairie Land Park's chair of the board, Don Rapchak. Waving big from inside the stagecoach are a couple of Don's grandchildren. Wow, and those are some of the biggest horses I have ever seen. They're incredible. And hey? next we have Brad Trost, invited guest to the Saskatoon X Parade. He is a member of Parliament for Saskatoon University. A beautiful day to have a convertible ride through downtown. I hope he put on sunscreen. <laughs> yes, it's a scorcher out here. And up next, we have ANC Detail Center. They specialize in vehicle, residential, and commercial cleaning and have been servicing Saskatoon and surroundings for 10 years. And their theme this year, Hank, is Hawaiian. And you can see that they've got a little skirt trimming on their float as it comes by here. And they're all decked out in lays as well. Oh, wow. Have you uh, been to Hawaii before? Not, not, not yet, but I feel like this is You know really what? I'm thinking we should go to Hawaii. I think so too. After the X, of course. Of course, we're getting a bit of a taste of it right now. It's mm -hmm. great. And we got a little dancer as well. Oh man, more, wow, they've got better moves than you and I combined, <laughs> I think. Definitely. 
And next up on the way, we are going to see the German Cultural Center celebrating German culture for over 60 years. In Saskatoon, the German Cultural Center prides itself on authentic German cuisine and German events, such as my favorite Oktoberfest and Folkfest coming Ooh, up soon. Yes. The German Cultural Center is your place to go for a cold stein and delicious food or for your next event. Everyone loves schnitzel. They certainly do, and this is the first year for the German Cultural Center being in the parade. And coming up behind the German Cultural Center, this is one of the first versions of a tow truck, a 1923 Ford Model T with a 1918 Holmes Wrecker mounted to it. The sister to it is the North American Tow Truck Museum in Tennessee. The Wrecker was found locally near Saskatoon and is correct for the era, and that is by Astro Towing. Love that color. Love that color. Very so cool. neat. And next up. Next up, we have the the Stoke Center, the Stoke Center at Wilson's here, showcasing their new electric go-karts. It's now open in Saskatoon's newest area, Brighton. Their new building houses a, two, a tier two story rope course and a zip line. And uh, just walking just walking by the White Cap Dakota First Nation float number one chief and council. White Cap Dakota First Nation have three entries in the parade this year. The theme, together we must protect and revitalize indigenous languages. And the second float is the White Cap Elders with their helpers. Elders play a very important role in the community. Elder and veteran Willis Royal is on this float along with other elders in the community. And the last entry is the White Cap Dakota dancers and singers. The young people of White Cap are proud of their ancestry. The children and youth are learning about their Dakota culture and language through their elders. And I spoke with this group before the parade and they bring their entire community out. It's just wonderful to see. And they're very proud of all the floats that they made. They wrapped up their work last night, Hank. I was gonna say this float probably took about 12 hours to put together. That's a lot of work. And there's a speaker out there. That's great. Get the crowd involved. A lot of work. And here we see a group of cadets actually walking by, also from White Cap Dakota First Nation. Looking great in their uniforms. Again, good to see them at the start before they get too hot and sweaty at the end. <laughs> <laughs> and we're not even done yet, Hank. Look at this float coming right up. It's so large. Yes, had to blow on the horn there to make sure everyone knows, also from Dakota Whitecap First Nation. And they will look at the effort they put into this. We see members of the community, young and old. These are the dancers I mentioned earlier, wearing their beautiful regalia, sending waves out. Some of them, this is their first time at the parade, but many of them have been here for a number of years. Just like me, I have been to the X Parade for numerous years, but you, on the other hand, were just a little bit unsure. Still a little, a little new, little yeah, unsure. but look at that beautiful dancing. Do you want to know a fun fact? Kevin Waugh, he's coming up next, his favorite color, blue. That's why he's okay. in that fancy blue car. Another oh, invited guest nice. of the parade is Kevin Waugh, member of parliament for Saskatoon Grasswood. He is the recipient of the Saskatchewan Centennial Medal for a long-standing community involvement. Way to go, Kevin. And he says, good morning to us, good morning to you well, as well, Good morning Gavin. to you, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Looking good in the convertible. And up oh, next, what, what's wow. What's coming up next? I think this could be, it is. It is the entry from Brad's Towing. They'd like to welcome everyone to the Saskatoon X Parade. Please always drive safe and remember to slow the 60 when you're passing an emergency vehicle on the side of the road. Their families, thank you. Way to go, Brad's towing. I like the decorations there, especially because you really have to get up high to get, to make sure you get that entire That's tow truck. That's a tow truck a little bit bigger than the last one we saw. Yes. <laughs> It's More of a modern good. version than the antique. All right. Hey, Danielle, next, who do we have coming up next? Well, we have the Concordia Brass Band, a community band associated with the German Cultural Center, who we saw a little earlier. The band was formed in 1982, and one of the original members still performs with the band. They play for community events, senior residences, folk fest, and more. The music consists of polka, waltz, Latin, and more. I think we should just be quiet for a second so we can hear the tunes.
fantastic Concordia Brass Band here at the X Parade. And we see and some of the little ones oh, watching the, the parade. little ones watching, getting into the music. And next we have Globe BMX. Globe BMX Raceway races Thursday nights, and they practice on Sunday nights behind the Lakewood Civic Center. All ages are welcome. Come try the sport. It's tons of fun. Everybody's well. Look at these bikes. I know. And safety first. They're all wearing their helmets. Their protective gear. That looks great. Gear. Oh, we're seeing some tricks as well. See, I would fall off there. I would fall <laughs> off. And this is why we leave it to the professionals. Leave hang. it to the pros. I am not that coordinated. They are the future yeah. as well. If they're doing this at their age, I don't even know what's in store for them. That's so exciting. Up next, we have HMCS Unicorn, the Royal Canadian Navy. So HMCS Unicorn is Saskatoon's Naval Reserve Division and a part of the Royal Canadian Navy. The unit is made up of students, employees from Saskatoon, and families who serve Canada as part-time members of the Royal Canadian Navy. HMCS Unicorn is located on 24th Street East, so they'll be passing by their home base and was established in 1923. 1923. I always love talking about HMCS Unicorn because sometimes you think the prairies, there's a naval base here? Well, yes, there are members here on the prairies who go out and join the Navy. Correct. My, uh, my dad's cousin did that. That's great. Mm -hmm. Family connection. I know. And I can hear some drumming. And we'll have a look at the crowd. It's a great crowd out here today. There are lots, lots of families, lots of grandmas, lots of grandpas. Everybody and over there, the kids are all behaving themselves yes, here. They probably know even, they're on camera. Even some daycares as well. And up next we have Miss Tawasis Nahaiwak, and it's located 120 kil kilometers north of Saskatoon. And what started as being keepers of the land has evolved into modern day business. With this mindset, Miss Tawasis Niawachak started their journey to become a business ready entity that would provide financial stability and work opportunities for the nation. Well, thanks, Daniela. This float also, they put a lot of work into it's it. That beautiful. probably took them hours and hours. And we Everybody's see some of the young good. members. Yes, I love seeing all the different ages who get involved mm. as well with the parade. And everybody's smiling. Yes. You can't tell if they're smiling at us or they're smiling at everybody. I don't know. They're just nice. excited to be part know. of it, Hank. So coming up next, uh, I believe Kelly Bullock, a member of parliament representing the constituents of Carlton Trail Eagle Creek, which include Martinsville and Warman. Oh, yeah. And once again, another beautiful convertible ride. Mm -hmm. Oh, and look, we have even littlest fans as well enjoying the parade. And everybody loves the X. And then now, after Kelly Block, we have the Saskatoon <laughs> Miracles Baton Twirling. Oh. Here are the baton twirling athletes from the Saskatoon Miracles. The club consists of recreational, pre-competitive, and competitive athletes ranging in age from 4 to 22 years old. Our athletes have uh, many twirling successes at local, provincial, national, and international levels. Registration is now open for the fall and winter season. Oh, that's so exciting. Twirling is a staple of parades, Hank. It's so great to have them It is. Involved. Tell me more about that. I think so. It's just so much fun. It's perfect for when you're walking and going by and showing off. There's the crowd clapping. Oh, we've got a bit of a runner here. Oh. A solo entry, perhaps. Solo entry. No, I don't think so. I think he's trying to catch up with his group that he passed by. Do you know who <gasps> I think is coming up next? Oh, my favorite, the Berry Barn. I believe that's... That is... I believe you had mentioned that you were going to take <laughs> your mom to the Berry Barn. I am. For the first time, she's not from here, so got to take her to a staple here. So the Berry Barn has been in business now for more than 20 years, Hank, and there's always something new going on at the Berry Barn, so be sure to check it out, like I am, at their event page or follow on Facebook or Instagram. Is that a blueberry we're looking at? Is that a Saskatoon, Saskatoon berry? berry? Is I that think. a berry I've never even heard of before? I don't know. It looks good. <laughs> it's a Saskatoon berry. The berry Barn. Nice and purple. Look nice at those smiles. Purple. Way to go. And uh, thanks for the invite. I'll go with you. Tomorrow. <laughs> be fun. If you're free, Hank, tomorrow morning you can join oh, us. Oh, <laughs> speaking of elite property management, the next float we have is from elite property management. They are proud to show off some of their staff on the company fire truck, oh. custom painted and hand decorated. Elite is celebrating another great summer with the communities of Saskatoon. Look for the fire truck driving around town this summer. And how can you miss that oh, fire truck? It's and there's so a minion on the front. Wow. Come on. Minions, there's a lot of minions everywhere. 
They got some minions of their own up top, yeah, waving those pom-poms. I'm happy they don't have that hose hooked up today. <laughs> maybe it'd be nice, it's kind of hot. And up next, we have the Enchanted Garden Center, or character, rather, company. Although I may have been a little early there. A little hasty, but you know, they are a local children's entertainment company that provide princesses and fairy tale characters and family celebrations and community events. They love bringing magic to the city of Saskatoon. Now, what is your favorite uh, fairy tale character? Oh, I love all the princesses, Hank. I know that that might be something that you hear a lot of people say, but the princesses are just wonderful. Now, do you have a favorite princess? Or is that like a question that I must Jasmine, ask? Jasmine, probably. Really? And the Little Mermaid, too, Ariel. Wow. I think so. What is the uh, the one from Brave? Is it Mer Merida. Merida. Yes, Merida. that's it. Merida, she's my favorite. Well, here you that's go. Fine. That's the Enchanted Garden Character Company. Mm -hmm. And what we saw a little earlier on screen, yes, there is... And we also are losing our minds because we're just so excited about talking about the Disney princesses. We forgot about the concrete elements. Uh, they create unique lawn ornaments made right here in their on-farm manufacturing plant. All right. Oh, now here are some of the princesses we were talking about. Oh, I see Tinkerbell. I oh, bet that's Rapunzel with the long it hair. It sure is. My daughter will be impressed that I knew that. And there's Ariel, just as I mentioned. Yeah. Sleeping Beauty, Aurora. And up next, though, we have Wilson School of Highland Dance. Mm. The Wilson School of Highland Dance was established in North Battleford in 1989 and has since expanded to Saskatoon and Calgary. Dancers range from three years of age to adults, and it is fun for all ages. And they are being, uh, they have a tractor that's uh, owned by Bob Lightfoot and a trailer owned by Dave Howe. Look at that. Look at that. And when they're saying that you can do this all the way, it's never too late. You no. could join right now. Gorgeous dancing. This is the that. Wilson School of Highland Dance. Oh, they're all in sync. Choreographed. Love the tartans. We even have a little appearance there by the Loch Ness Monster. I was going to say, that's Nessie. Yes, a little decoration there. Nessie. Next up, um, we are going to Sherry Benson. Probably in a, in a yellow convertible oh, this time. Oh, I like that. Uh, Summary. Is it a, oh, it is. Look at that. Uh, so she is another invited guest of the uh, Saskatoon X Parade, representing the Saskatoon West as a member of Parliament. I'm seeing a theme here. I'm seeing all the yes. members of Parliament cruising around in convertibles. And there's one of those little fans out here <laughs> hey, watching the, the Saskatoon. Oh, <laughs> look, at <that. laughs> look at that. What a sweetheart. Lots of kids, lots of adults and grandparents as well, Hank. It's a really exciting time. That's Sherry Benson in that gorgeous Hi, Sherry. yellow convertible. <laughs> and up next, we oh, have oh, more horses. Yes, we do. The Grasswood Phillies. It's an all ladies horse club, and they are celebrating their 10 year anniversary, Hank. The 70 plus members range from ages 18 to get this 101. Oh. This year, the Grasswood Phillies have changed their parade colors to show their support for the victims of the Humboldt Broncos bus crash. Oh, 18 to 101. Never too old to participate. And you can see the Humboldt, Humboldt colors, colors there on the horses, but also they have, they're wearing the ribbon, the as, ribbon well. as well. And around their hats. Their hat so too. beautiful. The horses are so beautifully groomed. Look at the look at the look at what they have on their feet. They have and glitter the hooves. hooves. Gold I glitter how long hooves. That took. I've seen everything now. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Only at the Saskatoon X Parade, Hank. And next up, we have the Lighthouse Supported Living. The Lighthouse Supported Living exists to provide emergency, emergency shelters, <coughs> supported living, and affordable housing to those in need in Saskatoon. They offer a variety of programming and other necessities to those overcoming homelessness and addictions while offering support through positive relationships located downtown here in Saskatoon. And look at that, their float features a lighthouse. A lighthouse right on the float. We have dedicated members there. It kind of looks like the lighthouse uh, that you see up uh, when you're driving through Koshin. Yes, beautiful. You know, the X Parade would not be the same if we didn't get to talk about the hilltops. Of course.
course, you have to talk about it. When you think parade, you think Saskatoon Hilltops. They are proud to be participants once again in the exhibition parade. They were fortunate to win their 20th national championship in 2017. It was their fourth consecutive win, which is a league record. Go Toppers! Blue and gold. Oh, we have the mascot, the mascot as well. Is here too. Go, Toppers, go! And it seems like those cheerleaders, yeah, they're definitely really into it. You gotta be. Doing a parade is always fun. Hank, I had a chance to do plenty as well as a cheerleader. You were a cheerleader? Yes, I was. Really? Tell us more about that. <laughs> Another time, Hank. We want to bring the action back to the parade. Back to Astro Towing. Certainly, and they want to say, uh, we, or rather the Saskatoon X wants to say a big thanks to their parade partner, Astro Towing. They're always there to help out just in case. So we had the old school to the old school tow truck. Now we've got the modern one here, both from Astro Towing. And both orange. Both bright, my favorite color. My favorite color, Hank. No way. How on earth, and we're, neither of us are wearing orange no. today. I'm wearing my, uh, my Shaw Blue. But right we're now. seeing some more orange coming down the parade route. You know, when we look up into the Saskatoon skies during the warm months, we see the Remax balloon. Here we've got the Remax Saskatoon Children's Miracle Network float built by a team of realtors and their children. The theme of this vehicle is the Children's Miracle Network. Saskatoon Remax realtors contribute to the Jim Patterson Children's Hospital. The hot air balloon basket is manned by a crew from Sundance Balloons. Oh, and look at that. They have the basket of the hot air balloon. They're pumping those flames oh, in the fire. air. Oh, there's fire. There is fire. Oh, yes. Oh, I can feel it over here, oh, too. Oh, it was hot before. It's super hot now. <laughs> That's exciting. It's a great addition to... Oh, and there's somebody in the hot air there balloon. There is in the hot air balloon. <laughs> and if you see right on the end, staring at us right now, that is Ed Bobiash right there with one of his there daughters. Hey, Ed. Hi. Look at that. And up next, we have Global News. Global News offers Canadians a host of news and information from breaking news in their community to deep, engaging content that puts complex world issues in perspective. And there's my friend Fiona Odlum. We can do an American Ninja Warriors. I see you. I see you. And there's the Global News Blue Cruiser. Blue Cruiser. They're cruising. They're staying ahead of the North Saskatchewan Regiment Pipes and Drums. Oh, I Listen love Listen to that. The North Saskatchewan Regiment Pipes and Drums are based in Saskatoon under the command of Acting Pipe Major Craig Shirley, comprised mostly of volunteers and a few enlisted members. The band is active in the community and participates in military and civilian parades and also enters competitions. They do some incredible work. Oh. Eh? Marching in unison, keeping time, looking good. They do a number of community parades throughout the summer. It's so great to have them here at the X Parade. And then we have Toastmasters. The 20 plus Toastmasters Club in Saskatoon are known for improving leadership and speaking in a fun, friendly and supportive environment. Toastmasters is a non-profit educational organization teaching public speaking and leadership in 141 countries. Be a guest and learn how leadership development can be fun and rewarding. 141 countries. Wow. No, I think you've got time to start naming them all. <laughs> Canada. All right, Hank. Yes, <laughs> we'll start with Canada. That's right. So they're looking good, pulling the wagon. Look at those happy face balloons. And next up, Brenda School of Baton and Dance. They are celebrating 35 years in business. This entry features dancers, baton twirlers, and gymnasts that train in the studio, fondly called BSO, oh, be so bad. I get it. Pronounced yes. be so bad. Their motto: Come have fun, dance, tumble, and twirl baton. Make a memory at Brenda's School of Baton and Dance. Oh, here we go. I love watching this. This is so much fun. It gets everybody excited. The kiddos are waving their Canadian flags. We've got the Canadian flags. We got the music. We've got some crazy mirror ball type. Uh, oh my goodness. Be so bad. Nice sparkly outfits for the parade. I mean, what's a parade without a bit of sparkle? A bit? Yes, a lot. I'd say in a few of these, there's a lot of sparkle. Come on, come on. Oh, I believe 
they're going to do a little oh. demonstration here while they have some time. This really is a nicely crowded area. Be so bad. Very proud of their and school. And accompanied by the Saskatoon Police motorcycle. Up next, you really can't miss it. It's Saskatoon Fire Department. It's their 1948 fire truck. And joining them on that truck is the mayor of Saskatoon and city councillors. So engine 14 is a 1948 Mack truck, a type B125. And it was manufactured in New York and purchased by the Saskatoon Fire Department on August 26th. 1948 for, get this, just under $20,000. The glamour of the open cab, bell ringing and tailboard riding rigs have given way to the modern high-powered fast track five-man enclosed cab runners. Oh, wow, and right behind it, this 1927 Ford car is part of the WDM collection, restored by museum volunteers in the early 90s, is driven by longtime museum volunteer uh, Dell, riding along with Dell is the Saskatoon Fire Chief Morgan Hackle. And here we have some more from the Saskatoon Fire Department. This is Ladder 1. It's one of two aerial fire trucks owned and operated by the city's fire department. Ladder 1 is located at Fire Station Number 1 on Ottawa Drive South and it responds to incidents throughout the entire west side of Saskatoon. The crew for Ladder 1 is also on board today. My uh, children have had the opportunity to go to Fire Hall 1 and to get on oh, this truck. Oh, that's so great. I've got awesome pictures. Yes, everybody at the department was very nice. Look at that. Now, coming up next, uh, we should have Corey Tucker was first elected to the Saskatchewan Legislature for Saskatoon Eastview in November 2011, re-elected in April 2016, and voted by his colleagues as Speaker of the House that following May. Oh, look at that. He's showing off his love of hockey. Hockey, wearing The whole family wearing Team Canada hockey jerseys. And look at what a cool ride. Canada 72, hand-painted on the side of that Zamboni. Looking good, Corey. And then we have number uh, more, the, more family horses because there's more horses with oh the more family God. horses. They're parading for the true values upon which our wonderful country was founded. And now a very large truck. Oh, I see it. Who it's it? Wyant Group Raceway. Look at that float, Hank. The next race for Wyant Group Raceway is August 11th when the Denray Tire Western Speed Association Series, driven by B.F. Goodrich, comes back to town. Come out and enjoy another monster race day. Kids 12 and under are free. Visit wyantgroupraceway.ca for more information. Look at these cars. It's beautiful. It's purple, pink, and another orange. Loving the orange. And interesting that they decided, you know what, let's put it on this big flatbed so people can really see what we have to offer instead of driving them. <gasps> do you see what's next? <gasps> I think it's I do. It's the Shaw Communications <laughs> float. It looks like the Shaw Bear is getting some good surf up there. Oh, yeah. Their theme this year is surfing because of the recent launch of their new Internet 300 service. Go, Shaw, go. I recognize some of those faces. Look at that bear. Man, wearing their bright blue. We got surfboards here, too. Yeah, definitely a colorful addition to the parade. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Now we're, now we're yeah. getting the high we're getting five. The we're high getting high fives. fives. We were promised high fives and promised we got high them. Fives. We can do that. It's okay. We're on this side of the camera. Yeah. And we have a very big entry. You can hear them, Hank, starting to come down 24th Street. 24th Street. I'm thinking that that is the Saskatoon Police Service Pipes and drums. Certainly is. And they have, Saskatoon Police Service, more than 600 members, both sworn officers and civilian staff. They're proud to serve the citizens of Saskatoon. Chief Troy Cooper and several members are pleased to take part in the parade. Events like the parade are an important part of the relationship building that the Saskatoon Police Service does on a daily basis in our community. However, officers will not only be taking part in the parade, each year a plan is developed to assist the exhibition to make sure that the week of festivities are, will be safe for all fair goers. So from the time it opens hang to the final hour before it closes, the exhibition will have many police officers on site. They enjoy their work, they like meeting people and helping out where they're needed. That's right, in uniform, out of uniform. 
uh, last year, I don't want to brag, but uh, when speaking with the police, um, they deputized me when I was oh, at the wow. X. Yeah, deputized. It was a big deal. I got a sticker and everything. <laughs> it might have been for my son, but I it was really for me. Wearing full uniform. The Saskatoon Police Service volunteers were also in today's parade, and they've lent a hand at the exhibition for many years. And coming up, they have also brought their Bearcat Armored Rescue Vehicle. Wow. Show to everybody. They're very proud of that vehicle, yes. Hank, because it's able to help our community in so many ways. A lot of people, when they see that, they think uh, it's really intimidating, but actually what it's used is to de-escalate situations, Correct. not intensify them. But look at that. It is intimidating. It is quite remarkable to have right here as in part Saskatoon. of the parade. And following the Bearcat Armored Rescue Vehicle is the police recruiting SUV. You can see that around town as well. So if you'd like to join the Saskatoon Police, I believe that's the vehicle that you can go and see, and they'll have a lot of information for Correct. you. Correct. What a great entry by the Saskatoon Police Service. And next we have the Saskatoon Police a Street Legal float as well. Oh, wow. Now check out that racing vehicle. That is too cool. It's got the police lights on top as well. Got the sponsor logos on the side. They're racing against drugs. Well, and look at the detail work on the side of that car, too. Reminds me of those little matchbox, car matchbox cars you could get back in the day. Now, next up, our friend Ken Cheveldayoff. Dayoff. He is gone, and he went, you know, everybody else is riding in a convertible, <laughs> not Ken. So Saskatoon Willow Grove MLA, Ken she Dayoff is aboard a 1941 fire truck from Strasburg, Saskatchewan. His role as Minister of Central Services keeps him busy throughout the province. However, the vibrant and growing constituency of Saskatoon Willow Grove is a place he is proud to represent and where the Dayoff family calls home. There's Ken. Look at that old fire truck. I am so enjoying all the beautiful antique vehicles that we're seeing out here, Hank. Ken has a lot of kids. Look at those kids. And up next, we have Renewable Rides. It's an award-winning program that's the first of its kind in Canada. It's a car share program with electric vehicles powered by 100% solar energy, and it's for anyone to use. You, too, can drive these electric vehicles. Learn about becoming a car share member at SaskatoonCarShare.com. And look at that solar-powered mascot oh, that's they've great. got right they there. Got they the got panels. the sun. they got the solar panels. You know what? One thing I, I feel like I need to add here, Hank, though, is that you probably need to be able to drive in order to use the car share program. Hey. Good point. So, but anyone who's able to drive, well, you're free to use it. I'm thinking a valid driver's license. Yes, is probably, what you, would need. probably yeah. what you need. Now, coming way down there, I oh. see. Um, I do see two ears and a pink nose. Okay, is I, it, is that a cow? I believe it is, Hank. <laughs> so we've seen a lot of horses today. We have yet to see a cow, but coming up, I think this could be the CJWW float. It's Saskatchewan's most listened to radio station playing all of your legendary country tunes. And country is a big theme this year at the Saskatoon X. On Friday, oh, no, rather Thursday. It's the Kickin' Country Thursday, and it's going to be full of great country music acts, but people are also invited to wear their cowboy hats. You can come take photos with Fred the Bull, and it's going to be exciting. That's from 2 to 7 p.m. So on I can bust Thursday. out my cowboy hat. Definitely. Because I do have numerous Western hats. I do have a cowboy hat as well. I, I wouldn't doubt it, Hank. I'm always impressed with your with your hat wear. Thank you. I will take your compliment. Hey, now I'm waving There's at the cow. Look at that. Yeah, you need to have it at every. There you go. Not now holy our cow, is it's holy cow. That is holy <laughs> cow right there. Hey, holly. And look at the. Look at the vehicle Holly is towing, Number though. 93. Wow. Incredible. I don't know if Holly could fit in there or not. <laughs> Up next, we have Lisa Lambert. She serves Saskatchewan as the MLA for Saskatoon Churchill Wildwood and as a member of the Standing Committee on Public Accounts and the Standing Committee on Crown and Central Agencies. And another convertible. Look at that. We're going with red. Everybody's had a different color. 
I like that. A little bit of change. And behind Elisa, we have the ladies that ride. Colleen Wilson and Jane Vole have ridden and shown horses all their lives. They now enjoy exhibiting in the parade. Colleen's mount, Fabuloso, owned by Colleen and Jim Twig, is a Palomino, Tennessee walking horse imported all the way from Kentucky. Jane's horse, Hal Conera, is a white uh, horse imported from Spain. Absolutely beautiful. Just the costuming, the grooming on the horses. It's just stunning. What a great addition to the parade. And up next, oh, look at that. A little turnaround. Oh, showing off over here. We have all we need is we all need a rescue, rather. Canine Rescue Float, and it's pulled by Saskatchewan Pet Expo Vehicle. And the fourth annual Saskatchewan Pet Expo will be taking place on November 17th and 18th at Prairieland Park. Hey, that's where the X is. Exactly. Fun for the whole family. We all need a rescue. Canine Rescue is the biggest and longest running rescue in Saskatchewan. They are a no-kill, volunteer-based rescue and only rescue from Saskatchewan. And I love that float, the ears, the tail. I wonder how long that's up to put on. Look at that. And there's a little doggo in the front window. Hi. That's right. I talk to the pets as they pass by. Hi, puppy. They're waving. What a great addition. Oh, look at all those puppies. I'm sure they're loving this ride on the parade float. Look at that. And there is a little puppy actually in the little middle of the... Little puppies in the mall. And they got oh, lots so of water sweet. for the dogs up on there. That's smart. And now we have the Western Development Museum Bennett Buggy is a recreation of a Bennett Buggy. Vehicles like this were a product of the Depression era of the 30s. As a result of the high price for gasoline, some farmers resorted to converting gasoline cars to horse-drawn buggies like this. Wow. The buggy is driven by museum volunteer Rory Musgrove. And Thanks, is, Rory. Yes, and it is followed by the Visa V carriage, and that is owned by the Western Development Museum, and it has appeared in parades around the province, Hank, and it's been used to carry dignity, dignitaries to the provincial legislature. It is being driven by museum volunteer Davis Nowchewski, and the Honorable Don Morgan is the MLA for the constituency of Saskatoon Southeast Riding, and he is in the Visa V carriage this morning. Man, I would look good in one of those hats, too. Yes, you would, Hank. It's you, hat you day here at the hats, parade, I'm, I'm telling, telling you. you. <laughs> Now, next we have BN Steel and Metals. Uh, they're a Saskatoon metal recycling company with a local and accessible yard for convenient drop-off. Come recycle metal and take pictures with the T-Rex. They also have Bumblebee. I believe Optimus Prime is out there. Just they got a couple incredible. other fantastic sculptures there. Amazing, yeah. up on Quebec Avenue. You do need to go and see it for yourself because that T-Rex alone is impressive and you certainly want to take pictures. Optimus oh. and Bumblebee are on the back. We've hey guys. got Transformers in the house here. Up next we have MHS West Pediatric Ambulance and that travels all over Saskatchewan on a daily basis picking up sick kids and bringing them to the pediatric facilities here in Saskatoon. It is staffed with two paramedics and the PICU team from Royal University Hospital. So MX West uh, Pediatric Ambulance provides a vital service here in Saskatoon. Very happy they're participating in the parade. And I really think that the next people that are coming in the parade here don't really need an, ec an I don't introduction. Think they do. But just in case, it's the Saskatchewan Rush Lacrosse Club, your 2018 National Lacrosse League champions, the Rush. Wow, the Saskatchewan Rush, just incredible. They are this year's champions. They also won their very first year in Saskatchewan 2016. They went to the final in 2017. We are very proud of how, how far proud. they've come, yes. How many Rush games have you been to see? I've been to dozens, actually, Me because too. Dozens yes, I games. just enjoy going. The atmosphere is so vibrant, and what a great addition to Saskatchewan. They wear green well, I think. The true. Looking good in green, and the, uh, wh where is the Hulk? Oh, looks like we're going to see him <gasps> right about now. There he is, the Hulk inside, so think inside the box, the hottest ticket in town. <laughs> there he is, you could just make him out there <laughs> on the screen. And up next we have a walking group. We haven't seen too many of these in the parade so far. It's the Saskatoon Caucus. This walking group includes five MLAs representing 
the city of Saskatoon. That's right. They forego. They when do they forego the convertibles? They are walking yeah. today. Why not? Get Why some not? exercise in for the parade. It's also a really great way to slow down and wave. It's quite nice. It's very nice. Maybe we'll get some high fives from them. I hope so, Hank. I'm going to put my arm yeah. out and see what we can get. And you can see in the shot right now, all the people lined up along 24th Street. That goes all the way down to 2nd Avenue, Hank. It's really quite a sight today. That is a long way to walk. And that is the NDP leader, Ryan Miley, along with some of those other MLAs that we've seen. Oh. Yeah, where's their high five? We got a high five. Yeah, we, we did. We got it. <laughs> and in the air high five right there, too. In the air high five works as well. We don't always get a chance to high five those Sask going by. Saskatchewan colors, nice balloons. Look at that flag. And next, we have the Saskatchewan First Nations Veterans Association and Bold Eagle 29 float. The Saskatchewan First Nations Veterans Association is a proud organization that advocates on behalf of First Nations veterans, current servicemen, and their families. The Bold Eagle program is a challenging Aboriginal entry program conducted by the Department of National Defense, and it is partnered by Aboriginal organizations. We also have the 96 Highlanders Pipes and Drums Youth Band. It's a nonprofit organization whose objective is to preserve and promote appreciation of Celtic heritage through Highland piping and drumming. Highlights of past performances include a trip to Scotland, where the band competed in games at Perth, North Berwick, and the World Pipe Band Championships in Glasgow. I like how the majority of them are all wearing shades. Yes, well, you certainly don't Looking want the good sun coming in the up and parade. And now we have the Saskatoon Combat Robotics Club. Oh, what? I can see them. You can see them zipping behind that. Saskatoon Look has there. the largest combat robotics events in Canada. The next Kilobots tournament will be at the 2018 Canadian National Championship held September 15th and 16th at the Saskatchewan Entertainment oh, Expo, also at great. Prairie Land. Come watch as the best bots in Canada battle for the Kilobots Cup. Or if you dare, build and enter your own fighting robot. Oh, like, come look on. at these. They're just too cool. One has a giant saw blade on it. I believe our camera's going to get a shot of that. Look at there. You know, if I had to pick a winner right now, I think I'd bet on the one you with the probably, giant saw blade. Probably. That one's the most active. It's zipping around here. It appears to be the most dangerous competitor. Yes, yes. and clearly the, the people in charge are not concerned about their ankles. They're walking brazenly near their robots. Oh, and everyone in the crowd pointing and smiling. It is always exciting to see that. Always hang. exciting. I'm excited to see it. Saskatchewan Entertainment Expo. Are you going to the expo this I year? I sure am. And we have some of the people out there. That's a daycare group, a number of daycare groups out here. What a great way to enjoy this beautiful day in Saskatoon. And up next, we do have the Saskatoon Blades Hockey Club. And Saskatoon Blades have been around since 1964. They play at Sastel Centre. Training camp actually begins at the end of August. And the season starts September 21st. Go Blades, go. Go Blades, go. Some of my favorite NHL players have come from the Blades and I can't get enough. I know, like, and the colors, is, I'm just, I'm a little bit drawn to those gorgeous yellows and blues that we're seeing. Okay, I'm all, I'm all about the skill and the competition, okay? <laughs> the color stuff, my goodness. <laughs> I know, and that too, Hank. Let's talk about that. Some of your favorite go, NHL. It's a mascot, who I'm sure is a big fan of the Blades, you would know what the mascot's name is, right? Poke check. Yes, that is yes, correct. Yes, poke check. Handing out things for the kids. Uh, the always smiling Yeti. Hello. Always smiling. And a poke check, of course, Mr. Skills, is? Uh, that is when uh, you would use your hockey skills to go over and poke the puck away from your opponent. You'd use your stick. You wouldn't get too rough, or you're in the box. Exactly. Next up, CTV Saskatoon is proud to be part of the Saskatoon community. CTV News and CTV Saskatoon Morning Live are broadcast from the local studio in Saskatoon seven days a week. Driving today in a 1965 Mustang convertible with a 289 V8 are Chantel Saunders and Jeff Rogstad with owner-driver Norm Shuttleworth, former director with CTV Saskatoon.
Well, look at that convertible. Oh, I like that. A classic Mustang. Classic. Jeff's looking good in there. All right, and up next we have a horseless carriage pink. What? It is built by John Slosser, and it has a 5.5 Honda engine in it. The wheels were made in Ontario by the Amish Mennonites. John built the rest. Oh, that I, is You know exciting. what? I have never seen a uh, horseless carriage before. That's amazing. Cute little puppy there, too. Oh, and behind that, 1929 Model A Ford Coupe. So here is a 1929 Model A Ford Coupe with a rumble seat. Ooh. This vehicle is also owned by John Schwasser. When John Bill bought it, it wasn't running. He also made the chest on the back. What a talented man. Very creative. We appreciate your entries in this year's parade. <gasps> oh my goodness. There, that's on camera now. Look at the little oh, ponies. Oh, the little miniature horses. Oh my goodness. That's the Funtime Miniature Horse Club. It's for all ages and it's aimed at the active horse interested folks. Our youngest driving member is seven and a half years old and they have scheduled organized events showing young members and old alike and all sorts of equine activities. Oh, they are just a fun and oh, I need to go hang out with them after. Yes, you do. And speaking of Astro Towing, number three. Here we go, orange again, the third tow truck from Astro Towing. And they do some really incredible work in the city. They also helped pull up the Prairie Lily, the riverboat, when oh. it had to dry dock every five years. That's an enormous task. So Astro, Astro kudos they, to you on that. They can, they can handle it, any task. Number 77, we are at the Saskatoon Shrine Club Drums and Bugles. The Saskatoon Shrine Drums and Bugles have performed all over Saskatchewan for over 50 years. Shriners come from many walks of life, but all get their start in a Masonic Lodge. We love making music, helping kids, and having fun is their motto. Look at that. So many smiles. The Shrine smiles. Club Drums and Bugles. Incredible. And Hank, we are going to see plenty more from the Saskatoon Shrine Club. We have classic cars, race cars, motorcycles, and scooters all coming down the line here. So the Saskatoon there, the there you are. The Saskatoon Shrine Club will be celebrating its 100th anniversary next year, Hank. Oh, wow. And it's the oldest shrine club in the world. That's incredible. In the world. Their entry features race cars, classic cars, and motorcycles, and a giant teddy bear as well. It's always fun to see members of the Saskatoon Shrine Club. They do an incredible amount of work in the community. And wow, 100 years. Congratulations 100 to the years. club. 100 years. The Saskatoon Shrine Club motorcycles are here. Playing some classic tunes. Just looking cool on those motorcycles. And we also have the Shrine Club vote from Prince Albert. So coming down from Prince Albert to be in the parade today, the Prince Albert Shrine Club. That's so great to see that support across the province coming out today. Of course, Prince Albert has its own parade. Regina had its Queen X uh, City Parade as well. So but just another one. But nothing compares nothing. to the Saskatoon X Parade, you especially here 2018. Right. And up next, we have... Spinning. And the sign is like the Shriners cap. Look at that spinning around. Beautiful. We have some more from the Shrine Club. It's asking people if they want to be a princess, and you can get involved at Saskatoon Shrine Club. Com. That's right, it's for ages uh, 8 to 20. So if you're between the ages of 8 and 20, get involved. And Enjoy. who doesn't want to be a princess, Hank? Right? I know I do. Exactly. A little bit of glamour, a little bit of sparkle. We saw those real life princesses walk by earlier in and the parade. Lots of, lots of sparkle today from the horse hooves that they had there, all the way up to everybody's outfits, pom poms. Oh. You know what makes a good parade, Hank? No, Anything that can keep children's attention for this long. And right now, all I'm seeing are wide-eyed children on 24th Street, just excited to see the next entry. And guess what? It's Saskatoon Folk Fest. I love Folk Fest. What a colorful vehicle. Oh my goodness, featuring the 2018 Youth Ambassadors. 
in beautiful heritage dress, Folk Fest is celebrating 39 years and will once again be located in venues throughout the city. Folk Fest welcomes passport distributors, Saskatoon co-op gas bars and food stores. And guess what, Hank? They're expecting over 34,000 visitors again Say this year. Say that again? 34,000 34, visitors. visitors. That's a lot of people Folk Fest. I'm tripping up on my words. That's how many people. That's how are. many people. <laughs> Now look at everybody dressed up from the various oh, cultures and communities. So beautiful. This could be the most lively and interactive float that we have seen in this parade. When I think floats, this is what I think this of. What, Dancing. Yes. Dancing, singing. And celebrating balloons, balloons and streamers. Oh, I want to get up there and dance, You Hank. should. You don't need me, right? I'll handle the rest. Get up there. <laughs> no, I'm going to leave the dancing to the professionals. That's right. Oh man! I, this just gets me so excited and for Folk Fest. That's as soon as you say Folk Fest, now I'm hungry. Now I know that happens the weekend of August 16th, 17th, and 18th. And right behind Folk Fest, we have the Luther Care Communities. Uh, the Luther Care Communities has launched a Cycling Without Age program's first chapter in Saskatchewan, with 1,100 chapters worldwide. The program provides Luther Care residents with recreational bicycle rides operated for a, by a volunteer pilot. Not yeah. a driver, a pilot. It creates many remarkable physical and mental benefits as well as providing intergenerational experiences and connection with the community. And we saw those bicycles with their pilot riders there. And next we have the Saskatoon Valkyries. This female tackle football team in Saskatoon has won five oh. of the eight championships over the years. This year they unfortunately lost to Regina, but it was oh. a very close final. It was a very close final. I actually did watch that match. Incredible but work by the Valkyries. We'll get them next time. And they made it to the championship. That in itself takes a lot of hard Correct. work and dedication. First choice, designated driver service is the next vote that we have. First choice, designated driver service has been operating in Saskatoon since 2016. The purpose is to get you home in your vehicle. A team of two drivers is sent out. One drives the customer in their vehicle <gasps> and the second follows. A simple goal is to keep everyone safe. Please do not drink and drive. Really important service provided there. Next, we see David Buckingham, MLA, for Saskatoon Westview. He's riding in a 1921 Model T hot rod owned and operated by Rod Hiltz. I would almost say that counts as a convertible. Yes, you have the it top does. Off there, so there we go. You have to have the top He's off, Hank, so you can wave freely in a parade. Yeah, so my hair could blow in the wind. Yes. <laughs> Oh, coming up on the Curl Saskatoon's Big Rock. Curl Saskatoon and their four curling wow. clubs, the CN, Granite, Nutana, and Sutherland present curling in Saskatoon. They also host the Junior Curling Classic Citywide Bon Spiel Men's and Women's Divisions. And coming next April, the Humpties Championships Cup. Oh. That's great. So thanks to Curl Saskatoon's past president, Mark Southam, driving his 1980 Chev C10 half-ton to haul the rock. Oh, Danielle, do you, do, you know, do you know what this means now? Right now, we are seeing the police follow vehicles who have just thanked us for coming out. No thank you, Saskatoon Police Service. So uh, my name is Hank. This is Daniela for both of us. Thank you for watching our broadcast of the Saskatoon Expo 2018 on Shaw TV Saskatoon. <laughs>